All right. <clears throat> so now we're just going to go new assembly. Say OK. So now we're in something and it wants us to put some stuff into it. So we're going to hit browse. And I'm just going to go to the desktop and to that assembly folder. Now I want to put in the base first. So I'll say OK. Now it's going to put it down somewhere. And it's going to put it in. It is, but it's like way slow. Our SolidWorks is like way slow. Right. So, got that one in now. So now I want to put in my next piece. So I'll go back to Insert Components. Browse. And find my next piece. So the next thing I want to put in is the sides. And I'm just going to kind of move it around and put it somewhere that's kind of close to where I want it. And now is a good time that I want to save it. So I'm just going to do a file, save, make sure I'm going back to that same folder, and then give it a name and say OK. You want to save your assembly soon so that way as you're putting it together, you can just hit save or control S to save what you're doing. Um, you want to save often. <laughs> Um, these computers do crash, and so if you haven't saved it yet, you can't do a quick save, but I just like every once in a while, reach over and hit control S, I'll do a quick save, and it, so you don't have to waste time going to file and save, you just control S and then keep working. <clears throat> so now that I've got this here, I need to put them together so that these sides are going to fit on top of that base. So I'm going to go over here to mate. And you can go in and you can go to move component, move it around and rotate it. But that's just kind of a waste of time in my opinion. Because using the mates while you're telling it how to fit together, that's going to move it and flip it and everything you need to. So I don't waste my time trying to move it close first. Right. Unless it's a screw that it's like this and I want to turn it the other way because I'm going to line it by an axis. But so usually I don't use that at all. I just go straight to mate and I use that to do all my moving and putting stuff together. So mate. Now it's asking me, what do I want to make? So I'm going to go ahead and pick different things I want to put together. And usually I want to pick surfaces. Because if you pick a surface and an edge, that edge is going to want that surface, but now it can pivot and rotate and, and do all kinds of things. If you pick two points, then they can still rotate all around each other. So if you pick surfaces, then it's going to line it up better. So we'll pick that surface. In that surface. And you can see here, it's figured out that those should be opposing surfaces. <laughs> and they probably want to be coincident. So it's going to bring those two surfaces down right on top of each other. So if I look down, they're on top of each other. So then I can say OK. Spin it around. I want to make that face that face. And then realized they probably want to be lined up with each other. If I wanted them to be opposing, I could click oppose and now it's going to flip it around. So say OK. I'll pick those two. If I knew I wanted it to be offset a little bit, I come down here to distance, and then put in a distance for it. So now it's offset in a quarter inch. If you wanted to go the other way, you'd put negative? Yeah. Or no, you just hit the flip function. Oh. So that's always a positive value for the distance, and you just flip it. I'm going to line it back up and just hit coincident. And okay. Now I've got that piece, if I click on it, it's not going to let me move it anywhere. Because it's fully constrained that back to the bottom one. <clears throat> if I had done it before I did any of those, I'd still be able to move it. And I can go back into mates 
And if I delete that mate, I can click on it and I can drag it that way. But by doing that mate, now it's fixed. There we go. So that's constrained to the bottom one. And your first thing is always grounded. It's always fixed where it is. So the first thing you want to do, you know, the first thing you put in, usually you want to make sure that that thing is orient orientated the way that you want it to be. And usually it's something that's going to be big. Uh, so maybe if you have a big assembly, if you have a piece on the assembly that you've kn you drew it on the right plane so it's orientated correctly, and everything else is going to hook onto that, then put that one in first. And also on your fill material, it's going to be the big way that you insert it here. So usually on your grill material, you want it big items first, down to smaller items. So you kind of build your assembly that same way too. And I like to put in one thing at a time. <clears throat> There's some people I know that they'll put in all the parts that are going to go into the assembly when they first start. And then you have got a bunch of stuff just floating around that you have to, to look through. But I do it one piece at a time so the way I you know, okay, this one, I get it constrained, get it all, all knocked down, now I can put in the next piece. Now I can put in the next piece. It just keeps the, the flow easier for me. So that's down, so I'm going to put in the next piece. It's your components, browse, put in this knob here. I'll just put it in there. So that's going to go thread it into, into that piece. Those are, those are threads. So go back to me. I'm going to pick that edge and that edge. See, just by hitting these keys, I was able to flip it around. So I didn't have to rotate it around first. I can say OK, and I can go from there to there and bring it in. And say OK. Now if I click that and drag it, it's locked, but it can still rotate, right? So what, what make do you think I can use to stop that rotation? No, not lock. Lock is like fix. You don't want to do it. Yeah, you can make the slot parallel to that. Or I can make it at an angle. So like usually with fasteners we want the heads to go at 45. So I can do that. I can pick there. And there. And as long as I can see enough of the face to click on it, you can get it. So you don't have to make it where you can see a big part of it. And I just tell it angle, 45. Now it's not going to move anywhere. And if I move slowly, it kind of tells me it's fully defined. I can't move it. So I've got that in there now. Questions so far? Yes, no. What's that? I go to do it. Then the next piece, and then I'll let you guys do it. So now, back out of this, into the next piece. I'm going to put in this tab. Again, mate. There. There.
I can. I just lined up this hole, that hole, and then made it. So go ahead and get that far. Those of you guys who came in late um, on the 